Hey guys, it is Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, and I want to make sure that you watch this video to the very end because I put together a limited time volleys package offer for you. And so after this episode of What's the Right Shot, make sure you stay tuned to take a glimpse at what's in this package. Hey guys, it is Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, with the answer segment video to this week's episode of What's the Right Shot? And uh, got a lot of responses on this volley that I'm about to play. And let me kind of tee it up here. Again, Guy Needham with a very tough shot. And so here we are. We stopped the video right about here. And I asked you, you know, what shot would you play? I would say most everyone... Uh, pick this corner here, uh, either, I should say, they pick this side, uh, either deep or else short, you know, right over the net to really draw, worst case draw, uh, Jerry, uh, who was a server, draw him up, and uh, and hopefully Cliff and I, after that shot, can get in position to defend what would most likely be a deep lob to this corner. Uh, a lot of you also said, you know, take this volley and go over here behind Guy. And, you know, you've probably figured out for me now that I'm not a huge risk taker. Um, I mean, sometimes it's a calculated guess. But here's my thought about going back here is that if Guy, you know, if Guy anticipates this and, uh, you know, my balance is such it's a little tough in uh, you know, where I, where I froze the video here to see whether or not my balance is that as I play this volley, if I'm going to need one more step to recover my balance, you know, or if I can actually carve this ball over here with, uh, you know, some real sting on it and at the same time be able to cover up this part of the court. Um, for me, I, I just didn't feel at this point in the match that, that, this, that this shot was an opportunity. Now, another shot that was, that was pointed out was assuming that both of these guys who are relatively in the middle of their court are going to be anticipating something out wide, meaning Jerry's going to be thinking here and guys, guys going to be thinking over here. Well, if I hold this volley long enough, this middle should be open. But I've, you know, again, it's a calculated guess whether or not I sort of figure out what these guys are going to anticipate. Here's the volley that I played. I just felt at this moment in time that my momentum was moving to my right. And I just thought Cliff is kind of out of it here if I go this way and uh, that I would be too. So I end up playing uh, a volley, trying to use that momentum and just going deep going deep to the corner, to the alley. And, uh, you know, I get fortunate on this. I mean, it gets behind, uh, it gets behind Jerry. But, you know, one thing I want you to uh, take a look at is, you know, one of the common mistakes that we make on these volleys is, uh, is, our, is our point of contact. And our point of contact, we get the ball, we make contact too far out in front. So here it is. And the mistake I see uh, so much out there, and the mistake I used to make is right now, I would start reaching forward. I would start really reaching out to play the volley out in front, which, you know, there's two reasons why. Number one, we've been told, we've been taught, hey, you got a volley out in front. And, uh, or you've just, you just panicked. I mean, you're kind of like, hey, you know, I've got this opportunity to play the volley either over here, or I've got the volley over here opportunity. And so we reach out too soon, and what happens is, is you just deaden, you deaden the volley. And what happens is you don't get power, you don't get any pace, you certainly don't get any carve where you make the ball skid over there. So invariably what happens is if it does go back is it sits up. This volley, I've waited to let the ball get to my side so that I can use the good volley stroke mechanics here, which create that skid. So that as it lands over here on Jerry's side of the court, I mean, it, it really skids. And worst case, if he gets to it, it's down low. But the skid really creates kind of that, that shooting through the bounce uh, dynamic that you want with your volleys.
Well, guys, Brent Abel back here with you. And what I put together for you is a package of five of my volleys courses. They're very specific to the certain type of volley. But initially, I want to teach you how to do what I did in this episode of What's the Right Shot, which is to really be able to create some underspin, some skid uh, on, on your volleys, forehand and backhand, so that you know one of two things happens. That if your opponent does get to that shot, that it's down low. But, you know, best case, as we saw in this video, this ball skids and shoots past your opponent. you got to get enrolled by this Sunday at midnight, and here's what I've put together for you. is uh, First of all, uh, the forehand and backhand volleys course. It is my you know, seven vital stroke mechanic techniques you got to have to be able to make this ball skid. Uh, seven may seem like a lot of elements, but it's they're they're all very simple, all very to copy, all very to copy, all very easy to copy. Uh, that course normally retails for sixty-seven dollars. I put together four bonuses for you: uh, my drop volley course, uh, my volley, or is it a half volley course? One of the big decisions we've got to make out there when we're transitioning, either behind serve and volley or chip and charge on a return and serve. I've got a low volleys bonus for you. How do you handle those? And then just the opposite, I've got a bonus uh, little course on the high forehand and high backhand volleys. And all five volley courses are valued at a total of $215. Uh, you've got two options. Option number one is if you want to get into my you know, standard forehand and backhand volleys course, which normally retails for $67. I'm going to discount that uh, by $10. You can get that for just $57. But if you want to get, you know, that course, the full forehand and backhand volleys course, plus the other four bonus courses that I put together for you, uh, you can get that for an additional $10 to $67. So get enrolled now, below this video, there's uh, option one, option two. Choose which package is best for you. But you got to make sure that you do that by this Sunday at midnight. All right. In the meantime, of course, get out there and make it another great day.